Hello and welcome to our video on SCR technology and how it works. My name is David Stelzer. I'm the Senior Sales and Marketing Engineer for Safety Power Inc. And I'm going to briefly walk you through uh, the emissions for diesel engines, what emissions are typically seen, and some of the technologies that exist, uh, and specifically SCR technology, uh, and how it uh, tackles these emissions. So this first picture here, it's not a great image. It was taken with a cell phone camera, but it shows a, a data center with a whole bunch of diesel engines being tested. And what you can make out here is the exhaust plumes coming off these engines. Now the two most prevalent emissions uh, that we're concerned about are NOx, which is shown in this image here. And NOx is represented by this yellow haze. It's a precursor for ozone. It is a major source uh, of uh, smog. It's also a greenhouse gas, so it's not pretty stuff, and there's a lot of regulations in place to deal with it. This particular installation is a combined cycle power plant. This image down below is showing particulate matter. It's black soot that is associated with diesel engines, and I'm sure we've all seen that. So what technologies exist out there to deal with some of these emissions? Well, there's actually two other uh, emissions that are often uh, associated with diesel engines and natural gas engines. That's CO and hydrocarbons. And diesel oxidation catalyst technology deals with this. What it does is it basically completes the combustion process uh, for CO and hydrocarbons. Diesel particulate filters, um, this technology deals with particulate matter. So as mentioned, that's the black soot in the previous slide. It's exactly what it says it is. It's basically a filtration device that captures these particles so that they're not emitted into the atmosphere. The last technology, uh, which is very popular and the focus of this brief presentation is selective catalytic reduction technology. And it's used to reduce NOx. So diesel engines used for emergency or prime power applications often need one or all of these technologies to meet emission requirements. This next slide here is a process diagram showing SCR technology and how it works. This part of the diagram that I've just circled is the SCR portion. So here we have incoming exhaust gas with NOx emissions. What first happens is it interacts with a urea injection. Now urea is harmless and easy to handle. That's why it's used in this process. And what it does is it interacts with this NOx exhaust gas and it mixes. And the ideal situation is it's evenly mixed by the time it hits the SCR catalyst, which is represented by this gray cube here. Now once the NOx infused with urea interacts with this catalyst, a chemical reaction occurs where the NOx goes to nitrogen gas and water vapor, both harmless uh, you know, vapors or emissions. Now what should often isn't included but it is a good idea is, is a NOx uh, sensor feedback. We do include this on our product line. What this basically does is it senses the output here to make sure it's where you want to be. And if the NOx levels aren't uh, low enough, or uh, it, it'll basically adjust your, your re-injection so that you get the desired output. Now there's also a urea control tank. Um, the urea tank, usually about 3% um, by volume of urea is used when compared to fuel. So it's, it's a very small percentage uh, of the overall fuel. So what kind of reductions can you see with this technology? Well, for SCR and NOx reduction, typically it's an 80 to 95% removal. Our specific technology is at the 95% removal rate. It can achieve up to 99%. So theoretically, that's what it can achieve. A DPF uh, removes 70 to 85% of particulate matter Again, it can achieve a 90% reduction. Uh, a diesel oxidation catalyst will typically remove 70 to 80% of hydrocarbons and CO, and it can achieve up to 90% reduction. 
This here is an overview of our technology, which I'll talk about more in the preceding video. Our technology is unique because you can integrate one or all of these technologies into the same queue. Here's my contact info. If you have any questions regarding this technology or how it works, uh, please feel free to contact me at the number below or at my email address. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you watch more of our video series.